Hey guys, and welcome back to Daily Duels. So today is Monday, which means you're using Madarche's No Lunar today. I apologize if this is this late. I, you know, I was waiting for Lunar, and New Lunar, Lunar never came, so yeah. So we're just going to just do this by ourselves. Oh, Burning Abyss. Alright. No. Not Burning Abyss. Tour Guide. Tour Guide. Haven't seen that in a forever. I haven't not seen that in forever. I swear to God, I have not seen that in forever. You think that you would see that more, much more often, you know, just. Tear God, Tear God, but you don't, you don't, you really don't. It's always Tear God to Skarm, so that's all, that's interesting to see. Anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, Lunar's not here. Plus, I, I have a lot to talk about anyway, so, I was, and I was waiting for Lunar, and Lunar, I came here, I don't know, sometimes Lunar just gets super busy, sometimes I swear, so, no. <laughs> no, I'm okay with that. You gonna kill me? Oh no, that's fine too. Yes, pop you, bitch. Summon. Yes, so nice him. Get my grave very nice and set up for my Medusa, please. Is that a backer? I know. Going to downward. Yeah, I say you were safer with his end mains, but okay. <laughs> Yeah, in my opinion, you are much safer with the Zen main, so... I'll just go ahead and, uh... Make like a cast all 101 and get rid of you. Uh, of course, give me the jelly. So, yeah. Um, so, first thing I want to talk about, and probably the title of this video right now, at the top of my mind, I don't know what to name it, but... Something related to switching up a lot of things on Daily Duels. A lot of things. So, uh... One of the things is, of course, this deck. This deck has been on here for a while. It's uh, getting kind of bland. It's getting kind of boring. Uh, so I'm planning on taking it off, correct. Uh, but, of course, uh, what to be replacing it with. And what I'm planning on replacing it with is uh, Noble Knights. And uh, the problem with replacing on Noble Knights is that I'm waiting for a freaking uh, Dev Pro, of course, run Dev Pro, to update and put Merlin in, but still no. On Wedge Pro, Merlin is there, so... Um, if when if we decide to go ahead and take off Madokche's early, maybe that's like this upcoming week, not this Monday, but next Monday, uh, then you would get double daily duels. Of course, one would be the deck profile of Madokche's, then the other one would be with uh, BLS coming out, the, jumping out the bushes and stabbing me in the oh no, Chaos Sorcerer. Okay, ah, I mean it's just as bad at this current moment, but it's not like as bad. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be BLS jumping out the bushes and stabbing me in the butt, but this time, no. Huh. All right, DD Survivor. I don't know what deck we're facing. <laughs> I thought it was Light Soins. Then I'm thinking of something else, so I have no idea right now. All I know is that he's pretty much giving me a free go around to go ahead and kick his butt, so. Go kitty cat, kitty cat's an angelic. So I can just do this part without even thinking, so. Uh, I can just continue talking. So, um, of course, it would be the deck profile for Madoches. Um, Deck profile from Madoche's for one daily duels, and the other one would, of course, be the uh, the deck that would be replacing Madoche's uh, with Lunar. And what I was thinking is Noble Knights, because, you know, Moon and stuff like that. So, uh, but the thing is, I need to learn how to really play Madoche's, because at this current moment, I'm kind of like, wait, how do I do this deck? <laughs> you know? But, uh, you know, I totally outline once I, you know, get, get, get the bearings under me uh, of doing that deck on here. So. Uh, Noble Knights, interesting, you know, we'll see how good they are with, you know, Triple Rota and, and, uh, and, uh, Triple Merlin, so, definitely want to go ahead and see that. Um, what else? Uh, Heroes, Heroes, I want to talk about Heroes. Uh, of course, Heroes are with, uh, Hunting with Holly, and my problem with Heroes is that, you know, the more I've been playing my, the deck, the more I realize is that it's not really a deck that can, um, uh, do well without back row. You know, it, it has a problem with authority figures, and really, if wasn't if it wasn't for Holly, uh, you know, doing really well with uh, Nefclops, I would probably lose the majority of the duels. You know, majority of the time, it's just Holly just winning, while me, I'm kind of just there, you know? And uh, I personally don't like that, so I kind of feel like maybe Hero should move to a day that uh, I'm by myself, and I can run the back row, you know, and not tag day. So, I was thinking of... Uh, if, but just, like I said, there's a lot of changing, a lot of structuring going around. So, 
if uh, I was thinking he might have gores. I was thinking I was like he probably has gores. It's like he's gonna have gores, isn't he? <laughs> That's fine. That's totally fine. I don't mind that. What's the gores gonna do? Kamikaze with my tiramisu? I mean, if you want to, I can always just summon another one. Though I got the two cards that made the tiramisu right back to my hand, so I'm chill. And it might not be the wisest thing to kill my Levier either. If you kill my Levier, well, if you don't kill my Levier, I'm gonna get it. Oh no, I won't. Oh, it is Light Sworn. It's just really bad Light Sworns. With Banisher? Hello? Light Sworns with Banisher. <laughs> uh, do you even have any Light Sworns in the graveyard? No, you don't. So Lumina ain't gonna do shit. Because you, you have to have a white sword prior in the graveyard to summon the target that you discarded. So I'm not even worried about that. So, Light Swords with Banisher. New meta right there. <laughs> it's stupid. Uh, so, the thing is that I'm planning, I'm thinking about maybe switching heroes to Wednesday. And, of course, what's currently on Wednesday is, uh, is, uh, oh, okay. Is, um, uh, of course, uh, Hermit Yokai. I have one more version of the deck. One more version. This upcoming Wednesday, if that deck does not work the way that I want it to work, then it's off. I'll do the deck profile, it's off. So, uh... So, since that deck will be off here, so we'll place it, which is fine. Um... Then, uh... What will be, you know, going in the place of Holly, because she, then she would need a new tag deck, of course. I uh, would thinking I made this deck and I made this deck and I don't want to spoil it but I know it can work fine as a tag deck I know that for sure that it can so what I was thinking is putting that in place of the deck of Holly it's much more aggressive it's yeah and you know it really depends it really depends we can either put uh noble knights with Holly or we can put and take the other deck which is much more aggressive and in my opinion much stronger of a deck than the deck for, um, okay, you're just gonna quit, which is fine, you would've lost anyway. So, uh, let's go ahead and, and get another Dueling Bear back. Alright, uh, we're back. So, you're gonna have Noble Knights with Holly, and then the new deck with Lunar, or vice versa. Uh, I kinda feel like Holly, not, not saying the new fans to Lunar or anything, but I feel like Holly's deck of Neff Clubs, a much stronger deck than what, uh, what Lunar is using. So, I'd say I'd probably go with, uh, but they both, both the decks kinda have their own lockdown aspect to it, really. You know, both uh, both uh, Noble Knights and Holly's deck. So, you now I'm not sure if those that those decks should be together. I don't know. I want your guys' opinion on that. So, uh, Jelly. So I'm interested in hearing your guys' opinion on that. Um, uh, what am I trying to say? So, yeah. Either way, we can we can do a couple of things. Uh, there's one more thing that uh, we need to address, and that is, um. What to do with Burning Abyss? Now, currently, there's Burning Abyss, Ubel, and Vimin Y, but that deck's not working out. Definitely not working out. Um, it's, uh... Swords of Revealing Light. Okay, I'm fine with that. I, I literally, if that's all you're gonna do this turn, then I'm gonna fuck you up. Fortune Ladies. No, that's fine. And you're just gonna end your turn? Okay, then I'm going to... No, not empty these. I'm going to your back row, and I'm going to make a Tiramisu, and bounce these two. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Do I have to play right here in my hand? Once again, Kitty Cat plus Angeli is just so fucking good. Like, that's, that's the play right there. Like, you get those two, and you're golden. You know, you get your Tiramisu, you get your spin, you get your, your, your cards back to your hand, you get your field spell, you just get the greatness, so... Yeah, I just think that this deck is getting kind of dry, and I'm wondering if you guys want to see something new. So, yeah, I'm getting kind of dry of it, you know. No, the deck is really linear, really linear. It's a fine deck, it's just really linear, so, yep. Yeah. <coughs> some, some gelato. There's some gelato, activate your effect. No, stop with freaking Vanity Dumpiness. Chateau. Actually trying to teach this guy how to use Madoches on Diamond Y. It's like, yeah, this is how you do the play. <laughs> Alright. And then we'll go ahead and go into Levier with you two. Go ahead. 
add and detach the kitty cat, you know, jelly. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the planning. So, uh, uh, like I said, Burning Abyss. We gotta figure out what we're gonna do with Burning Abyss, really, because it's not working on Vomit Y, definitely not, you know. It's more, the deck is more like, you know, Burning Abyss with Yubel being in the way, so, yeah, it's not it's not the greatest. So, thinking about, you know, taking them off, placing them with a different Yubel deck, which I currently, at the moment, do not know what I'm gonna do or replace it with, so... I might do maybe like a Kakashi Kyle and have you guys make like a whole bunch of different Yubel decks and then maybe like do like some kind of prize or something, I don't know. Alright, you're also gonna quit, which is fine, because I, I won once again. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, we can get one more duel in. I'm not done talking, so be right back. Alright, so yeah, maybe do like some kind of like competition, everybody makes the people make Yubel decks, uh, and then the best one will of course be on Vine and Wine, and you'll get some kind of prize, I don't know, at the current moment, I, I don't know off the top of my head, but yeah, we can go with that, that sounds like a fine idea to me, so uh, we'll probably do that, so we can have enough, and then while the temporary space and time, I'll probably do the Burning Abyss deck profile, and um, and then maybe have like two days of supervise or something like that. Been the shit out of myself because you fucking did that. Episode zero? Sure. Sure. Blow up your fusion gate. Yes. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Like, hello? Like, my phone's gonna quit. He's, gonna, he's probably gonna quit. Like that. Literally. Fire Knight's hand literally just fucked up his life. So, what do you choose? Bubble Man with uh, Avion? Yep, that's exactly what he did. So, what you wanna do? You didn't quit, as I thought. Ah! You know what, that's three duels. That's three freaking duels. I'm done, you know? Let me finish talking. Uh, so, yeah. Planning with that. So, uh... So, lots of change. Lots of change right here. So, upcoming change. So, uh, look forward to it. Look forward to it. You know? Uh, what else? Telenites is fine. Uh, Pendulum Chaos Dragons are okay. I don't mind that deck. Uh... Clocky Mirror is fine. Uh, Heraldics are fine. So yeah, really, it's just it's just it's just Hermit Yokai heroes and Modoches that are kind of on the lagging side of things. So maybe we'll see a change. And if we decide to go ahead and put uh, Burning Abyss as another day, it would of course have to be a day without tagging, which is far few and far between, really, because we just have so many tags. We have Dragon with Stanzi, we have Lineup with Lunar, we have Hunting with Holly, we have Tagging with Tiago, we have. Uh, only with a main chaos and something to say, so five out of the seven days are literally, uh, tag, tag days, so, yeah, we might have to do something about that, we're getting a little bit too full right now, so I don't know, I don't know, so, I don't know, I don't know, uh, anyway, you know what, just to make it a little bit easier on me tomorrow, because I gotta tell you guys about my last week was I, the last week Thursday, and my Monday, because I haven't even told you guys about my Monday, which I generally tell you about on Tuesday, but I'm late. So let me go ahead, let me just tell you about one day, and then tomorrow you can see, I will tell you about my Thursday, and then my Monday. So, Wednesday, last week, I have, um, uh, uh, my education class and women's literature. My education class, I'm, I'm getting real sick and tired of him. I swear to God, like, alright, we just finished chapter 6 and 7 quiz. So, of course, we're going in order chapter 8, correct? My assignment was due on chapter 9. My assignment. To, uh, that's a case study. I read it. I go up in front of the class. I get the summary of the case study. I answer the questions. I turn it in. Easy, easy assignment, right? I'm like, okay, well, my assignment is due on chapter 9. So we're on chapter 8. So we're going to push it back. Go into class. Teacher is like, oh, Daniel, do you have your case study? You're chapter 9. Like, hello? We're on chapter 8. He's like, oh, well, we're, we're following the, the syllabus. In the syllabus, we're on chapter 9. So I should you not. We literally... Went to chapter 9, fuck chapter 8. What's chapter 8 about? I don't know. No one knows unless you read the fucking book. But we're not going up to chapter 8. Like, literally, and, you, and it's, we're behind. We are behind in that class from the the, the, the syllabus. Well, not anymore because we just skip shit. But we were behind. And the reason why we're behind is because the teacher doesn't stick 
to the freaking syllabus and what we're supposed to be doing today. Like, literally, he, he's an old man. He's like 70 plus. I know he's 70 plus. And he likes to talk about his life stories and, you know, have conversations and shit, which is fine and all, but we're using valuable class time. And then next thing you know, we didn't learn anything. Then we come back to class the next fucking, you know, next class. And then we're like, and then the teacher wonders why we didn't get anything done. Oh, we didn't learn this. We didn't do this. We didn't learn this. We didn't do that. Oh my God. I did not know that. Like, because we never fucking do anything. We never stick to the plan. We're always fucking doing shit that we're not supposed to be doing. Now, you're trying to teach us how to be a teacher, and you're trying to do, teach us how to stick to the lesson plan and do your job, but then you're not doing it. You're being a hypocrite and trying to teach us this shit, and it's really getting, pissing me off. So, uh, right after this, we're supposed to be starting on our uh, project, presenting our projects. So, just like the syllabus said, we were off on Monday to work on our projects. Now, I'm going with the expectation that uh, we're going with the syllabus, so... There ain't no class on Monday. I didn't go to class. So if I show up to class on Wednesday and he's like, oh, you didn't show up to class and, you know, you didn't do this and, you know, we showed up on class. I'm going to literally slap the shit out of old man. You, know, you need to decide. Are we following the syllabus? Are we not following the syllabus? What, what's going on here, you know? So, you know, if he wants to stick so diligently to the syllabus despite not following the syllabus and falling behind, then fine. We'll go with the syllabus. The syllabus says there's no class on Monday. I'm not going to class on Monday. I'm just sorry, you know? So, we have these presentations due. Um, they're 10 to 15 minutes long. Mine's kind of boring. It's like difference between uh, collective bargaining states and right to work state. So I live in a right to work state. So I'll just do that. But I'm BSA. Like literally, he has like this big point rubric, and he wants to do like this big. He wants to use the board and s sing a song and do all. I, I should you know, I'm not. I'm not BSing with the whole singing song thing. He want, that's actually one of the quiet things. It's like song with lyrics five points. You know, so you can go. And then, it's not even extra credit. That's actually required. And he wants to do all this work for this 100-point rubric just for the 100 points to break down into his general four-point schedule. Where it's like you get four. It's like if you get an 80 or higher, you get four points, and then et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, until, um, until you get zero and you get zero points. So it breaks this big problem. It breaks down to his four-point rubric, but then he offers like 20 assignments of extra credit, and then it's, each assignment is worth a point. So literally, I can just... I can work super hard and do all the songs and dance and, and then be pranked around the fucking classroom and get 100% and get a 4, or I can just do a fine job, you know, not as good, not as great, get a 3, and then do one of the extra credit assignments and then get a fucking 4 anyway. Like, his curve and his fucking class is like fucking ridiculously easy. So, yeah, we're gonna be working on a project. Um, I, like I said, it's one of the things that made me super busy. Um, uh, but yeah, education. Uh, next, uh, Women's literature. Women's literature, we have to write an essay about your mother, because we're in women's literature, we're in the, the archetype of the mother going into the, the wise woman priestess, so he wants us to write a two-page essay about how your mother, specifically my mother, is going from mother to wise woman, and that's very difficult, because in my eyes, she's very subjective, I don't see her as a wise woman, so... I'm trying to, I'm going to write an essay about, you know, how she, I'm going to write an essay about the reason why she isn't a wise woman in my eyes and in my opinion, in her opinion and, and everything like that. So, um, that essay was supposed to be due this upcoming Wednesday, but then all of a sudden he was like, so we get into class on Monday because I actually went to class on Monday, which is, God, I'll probably go into more detail about it tomorrow. Actually, you know what? I could just talk about my Monday right now because my Monday didn't do much. So, of course, Monday. Today, because it's today, uh, this is after I get back from college. Uh, I didn't go to class, on, I didn't go to education class, it's not supposed to be education class. Uh, but I, I did go to women's literature because I wanted to get some more information on the essay that's supposed to be due the next class on Wednesday. So I, you know, I wasn't very comfortable with the essay, so I was hoping by maybe going to class, uh, I would get some more information on how to write the essay. So we get into class and, you know, everybody's freaking about, they don't know what to write about the essay, and the teacher, you know, he's so chill and laid back, he's really vague with it. So, one of the students was like, the essay is due this Wednesday, right? And he was like, I guess, when do you want the essay due? And then the, the girl's like, next Wednesday? He's like, fine, it's due next Wednesday then. He's like, I don't care when it's turned in, as long as you do it. So fine, you want to need an extra week? Fine, you get an extra week, you know? So he gave us an extra week, so it's not due this Wednesday, but next Wednesday. So, literally, class... He wants his, he, he, he like, he write, writes mother and he writes wise woman, and he wants you to pick a quote from the book, one for each, so one for the wise woman, one for the mother. So I go up there, I write my quotes, and then I play Smash. So I literally, I'm sitting in class, play Smash, and then the teacher, like, comes by, and then he, like, looks at my freaking DS, and he, like, tries to tap the screen while I'm trying to play Smash. I'm like, get the fuck out of here, teacher! Anyway, uh, 
he spends the majority of the class just going over the quotes and just talking. And I was getting what he was t I'm literally just listening to what he's saying. And I'm going to splash this into my essay. So I'm literally just writing. I'm literally like, I whip out a piece of paper. I think I whip out two pieces of paper. And I just start writing like my essay. I'm just writing and writing. And like, I'll type it when I get home. So I'm just writing, 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 writing. BSing. Because I'm a BS master. Hopefully I, you know, I, 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 I don't want to get A in the class. I just want to pass. You know, B is fine. C is fine. Just pass. You know, it's not a major, it's, it's a required class, it's not part of my major, so, uh, you know, so I'm going to BS it, and hopefully I'll do well enough to at least pass, like, it's, a, it's pretty difficult to fail this class, you know, there's five essays, uh, if you even, generally it's about movies, but this essay isn't, but generally it's about movies, if you summarize the movie, you'll get a C, C is passing, you know, so as long as you just do your work, you'll, you'll pass. So I got a B on the first essay, and I got an A on the second one, so this is the third one, so we got two more after this. But uh, I'm going to try my best, I'm going to try to BS this essay and hopefully get across uh, what I'm trying to get across and hopefully get the, it's not, get the message across that I'm paying attention and I understand what he's teaching. That's, you know, that's what I'm trying to do. So hopefully I'll do that. So, yeah. So there you go. I told you about my last Wednesday and I told you about my Monday today. This that it's going up. So, um, tomorrow, Tuesday, I will talk to you about my Thursday and I will be all the way caught up. So, good. So, I apologize. I probably could have gotten another door, but I didn't want to be distracted because, you know, the deck's not too distracting, but it's kind of distracting. But, uh, yeah, I need to talk. I, I definitely need to catch up. So, if you guys are kind of the guys that are like, oh, we don't want to hear Daniel talk, and after he's done dueling, we're going to leave, maybe more power to you. But I know some of you guys like to listen to my day, like to hear me talk. So, there you go. So, um, like I said, there's a lot of planning coming up on this upcoming daily duels. So, uh, be prepared for it. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. So, um, thanks for watching for your call support, and I will see you guys tomorrow using uh, Satellanites. Thanks for watching.